Okay, welcome to this week's Lunch and Learn. So I entitled this one, Healthy Homes. The Healthy Home Edition, Healthy Living Edition, whatever you wanna call it. And typically when I do um, a webinar like this or a class or whatever, I break down, okay, the dangers of having toxic substances, toxic products, how we need to remove those from our life and all of this. And I thought to myself, who in 2020 still uses this kind of stuff? Um, and I was just talking to some friends and they said, well, there's still a lot of people that don't know. And I thought, okay, really in 2020, somebody in this world doesn't know that using Clorox bleach will do an untold number of things to their body. Okay, well, in case that's you, and in case you're listening and thinking, wait, really? Let me run down a few disorders, conditions, whatever. They include things like diabetes, allergies, asthma, eczema, cancer, attention deficit disorder, autism, learning disabilities or difficulties, infertility, depression, chronic fatigue, chemical sensitivities, heart disease, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, thyroid disease, inflammatory bowel disease, <gasps> amongst many others. These are um, just a few of the things that can be caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals. And the thing is, is that when we use these products, it's not like you'll use Clorox today and then boom, diabetes. That's not what it is. It's an accumulative effect. It's overexposure. It's a buildup in your cells. Does that make sense? So it's not a one and done thing. It's over time and layering upon layering. It's constantly wiping your baby's butt with a toxic wipe. It's constantly slathering your baby with a lotion that has a toxic chemical in it. And I'll tell you, the coolest thing in the whole wide world is you can very simply, so easily look on the label of your product, a quick Google search, download the Think Dirty app, and see for yourself. It's not that hard anymore. And so rather than doing a 30 minute class on this chemical, something you should be aware of this chemical, I want to empower you. I want you to understand that it's so, so simple. Finding out what a phthalate is, what's SLS, just real, real, real super quick and easy, because here's the thing. If I tell you, if you're a visual learner, you didn't hear me. So you need to go and look it up for yourself that way you can see it in black and white and say, oh, okay. But see, here's the deal. My job in empowering you and educating you to take control and be your own health advocate lies in this, is that once you know how horrible a phthalate is, or phthalates, I should say, once you understand what having SLS in your soap or in your toothpaste can do, my role is to encourage you to say, hey, be your own advocate. Don't you want to live a long, productive, vibrant life? Don't you want to leave a legacy of health and vitality for your family? Doesn't that sound incredible? It's so simple to do. And so, of course, for me, I mean, I am, <laughs> I'm probably the number one skeptic on the planet. And so if, if I'm you and you're me and you're coming to me saying, the only thing that I've found 
that lives up to this pristine standard is Young Living Thieves Cleaner. Again, we're switching places now. I'm you, you're me. I'd be going, really? That's it? As far as I can tell, I've done a lot of research. Once your child has cancer and it's cancer of the biggest organ in your body, your skin, you become nutso about reading the labels. And while I have found that vinegar and lemon juice or lemon oil, coconut oil mixed together can do something, throwing a little bit of oregano oil, I can clean some things but I haven't found anything as effective straight across the board. And for me, I have a busy life that I created on my own. So I'm not saying, oh, I'm so busy. I love this life of mine, but my priorities don't include going to 50 different stores, buying 50 different products so that I can get the most pristine product. I love, I love, I love, I love being able to just quick, Hop on my virtual office in Young Living and order household cleaner, laundry soap, mouthwash, toothpaste, hand soap, hand sanitizer. Am I leaving anything out? Did I say toothpaste? All of that in a little bundle. And I know it's delivered right to my door in a few days. And now I can just put this out for my family to use. I don't have to think about it. It's amazing. And so what I wanted to do today is rather than dialogue about all of this, which I want you guys to do your own research, I wanna show you how to do this in such a simple, affordable way. Because a lot of times when you look at a $29 bottle of laundry soap, the average American mother, stay-at-home mom, working mom, um, working woman, woman who takes care of the home, whatever, whatever your title is in that capacity, you might look at that and go, damn, that is some sticker shock. I know I did because I used to buy Mrs. Myers, same size bottle for 11, 80, 11, 90. Sometimes it would be $15 if Whole Foods was feeling rich that week. Um, and so I would think, gosh, it's even more. But then I looked at Mrs. Myers. Okay, real quick, let's just do that together. All right, let's look at the Think Dirty app together. And Mrs. Myers, which hopefully it'll make you as irritated as it made me, um, and then you won't ever buy that again. I thought I was doing what was right by my family. It's sold at Whole Foods. It has essential oils in it, right? So, and I love the smell of lavender or geranium, but let's look together. Here's my Mrs. Myers. Okay, let's look it up together. It's an eight. Oh, fragrance. So those essential oils that you tell me are in there are actually not essential oils at all, are they? Nope, they are fragrance. Number one, number one ingredient, number one reason. And then it has a couple other sinister things and some not so sinister things. And so away we go. So only, so that one is, yeah, it's $11, 11 to 14, depending on where you get it. Um, but over time, bioaccumulative, it's gonna kill my family. No, thank you. So now I have thieves. I'm like, okay, but everyone tells me thieves is super concentrated. So what I would do is measure out, because it was my Mrs. Myers, right? I would use the whole thing. With my thieves, I would use maybe that much. And I have five kids, three of whom are boys, one of whom likes to roll in dirt, I, or used to. I think he's grown out of that. And, that it, and it worked. I stopped using bleach. I didn't have to use any of that. Sometimes I would add like a little bit of lemon oil, just depending on if I was doing whites, one a little brighter. And then some brilliant soul reminded us all, hey, thieves is really concentrated. Divide it up. What? So I saw the person use a clear bottle like this, fill it about this full with laundry soap. If you want an extra dose of power, a cap of Thieves Cleaner, fill the rest with water. If anyone knows who that brilliant soul is, mwah, give that to them. Because that took my 
sticker shock down to about $8 a bottle and lasts my family over, well over a month. Wow. So now, and it works amazing. So we don't, the thing is, is thieves, all of these products are so diluted, super, super easy. Love it. Love it. So there's that. Then you have your household cleaner. And this, you know, when people would tell me, you know, it's so concentrated, it costs less than a dollar a bottle. And I'm like, but the bottle cost me $22, which is concentrated. And I, I couldn't wrap my head around it because I would pay whatever for Clorox and it would be clean in all this business. I thought, okay, fine. In my mind, I just couldn't <clears throat> wrap it around. When I finally tried it, two caps of this, a bottle of, you know, two caps in here, fill it to uh, the top with water, cleaned it and everything was getting clean and it smelled amazing. I thought, okay, concentrated is a good thing. Who knew? So that's that. So you see two things, we just wiped out laundry soap and regular cleaner. Now, the cool thing about the cleaner, again, I'll go back to, I don't want to have to buy 10 different products. Well, let's count this together. Okay, at Target, we would get soft scrub, we'd get Windex, we would get uh, something for the floor, I don't know what else, we would get a toilet cleaner, we get a tub cleaner, which met, might have been the soft scrub, but probably not something for the shower, the tile, right, in the grout. Uh, so that's five. And then, um, well, I probably would get, did I mention a surface cleaner? I'd probably get something for the kitchen. I would probably get, yeah, like a, a counter cleaner, and then I would get a sink cleaner. So you see, I would do several. Maybe, let's just say I did six, okay? Well, now I have my thieves cleaner and I can do a household cleaner, just basic. I can get the windows done. I can get the countertops done. I can get the sink done. I can get the floors done with the same dilution ratio. When it comes to my stove that everyone apparently spills coconut oil all over, I think they think you're supposed to put it in the pan and then drizzle around the stove. I don't know, maybe that's how your family cooks too. My family just cooks like that. Um, I will use a different formula where I might do three caps or less water. When I mop my floors, the three cap one, spritz it on the floor, do my mop, give it a good rinse, do it again, easy. So depending on what I'm cleaning will just depend on my dilution. Now I also make my own DIY soft scrub, a little baking soda, a little thieves cleaner, maybe, a little bit of lemon because I love that smell and it also bleaches my 100 year old tile. Well, maybe it's not 100 years old, but you know, it's old. This house is 100 years old, but the tile is not. And um, let's see, did I say water? Mix it up with water so it's just like a paste. Scrub it on, give it a little extra rub with a, a um, what do you call it, a natural bristle brush pad and let it sit, rinse it off, boom, we're done. We're done. For my tub, my um, you know bathtub, I can use a soft scrub, I can use this, whatever I want, however I wanna do it. But all I need is this and just mix and match the ratios depending on what it is I'm cleaning. It's so, so simple, so simple. Okay, another thing that I love, if you have not tried the hand wash, look, I sound like a sales girl, it's, I, you should just try this. I love this product. Um, and it's not about that. I was a, is it Bath and Body Works? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bath and Body Works. I mean, how many of you guys have gone there and when they have like three for 15 or four for 20 or whatever it is, and you get all the different scents depending on the season. I'm sorry, but Thieves is amazing all year round for every season. And it just, the smell of it, because here's the deal. You have your thieves all in it. Look, everyone, let's put on our thieves. Let's just smell it right now while we're thinking of it. And you have this. Think about it. When you're, oh gosh, doesn't that smell amazing? When you're smelling this, in less than a second, these molecules that are in my hand that are now going into my olfactory system are helping my brain think clearly. It's sending messages to my brain or to the rest of my body rather saying, hey, 
where she's healthy. Let's keep it up. Keep up the good work, everybody. Let's keep it going. So as I breathe in thieves, as I breathe in thieves, or I wash with thieves now, or I scrub my hands with thieves, not only are my hands getting clean, my everything is getting clean, my clothes are getting clean, but my insides are staying so strong and so healthy. Going back to what happens in our body when we have toxic chemicals and how we can create numerous diseases, think about it. You're breathing in something that is tearing apart your lungs. You know, I was just talking to a woman last night and she said somebody she knew sprayed Lysol because her kid had the, this terrible stomach bug. And I'm like, um, so, so here's what's happening. You're spraying it. And yeah, it's sort of disinfecting, but you're also tearing apart the lungs, tearing apart the immune system so that as you're trying to protect yourself from getting sick, that nasty chemical is going in there and being like, sorry, guess it's your day to get sick. And it, you see what I'm saying? But when I'm spraying something that is meant to support my immune system, now, not only am I removing germs and yuck from the, the environment, but I'm breathing this beautiful oil in. And while I'm super healthy, my body is staying that way. It creates like a little force field. It's amazing. Okay, back to my hand soap. So this, again, I, I'm looking at my five children that do this business. I've like, got this like mountain of foam and half the bottle's gone. My 18 year old, last night we got in the, um, the vitality drops, the electrolytes from Young Living and everybody's, and I'm giving everybody a little thing. He comes in late to the party. He's like, well, I wanna try some. Half the freaking bottle's gone. I'm like, son, it's a half a teaspoon. Not your big old man hand squeeze. They should put that on the bottle. It's like the serving size is one squeeze or a half a teaspoon, but it should say in parentheses, no man hand squeeze. Think like small child squeeze. Sorry, I digress. So once I learned about diluting this, I thought, huh, but the same thing can be done with this. Sure enough, went ahead and took just an empty bottle. Um, I actually think I had almost an empty bottle of this. So I went ahead and filled, poured a brand new one into an empty one about this much, about a third of the way, filled it with water. What I will do throughout the seasons is like at Christmas time, the holidays, I'll add extra thieves just to smell more thieves. Right now, I'm so in love with the aroma of rosemary. So I'll add a few drops of rosemary in the summer because I love sunshine in a bottle, AKA lemon essential oil. I'll throw a few drops of lemon so that I'm just, I'm pulling out the lemon in there. I might even do a little eucalyptus just to give it more freshness. So like I'll transition now, I'll do rosemary, then maybe some eucalyptus, then maybe some lemon, just to play with it. It just, oh, I love the smell of that. But then this, I can get about three or four uses out of this one bottle. So here's the deal, to create a healthy home, ditching and switching as it were, I mean, this is what everyone's calling it, right? It can lead to a better environment for your home, for your workspace, wherever. But just as a reminder, why is it so important to choose natural ingredients? Let me just give you a couple of stats in case the beginning of my laundry list of things wasn't enough for you. Conventional cleaning products contain many, not just one, many endocrine disrupting chemicals that can wreak havoc on your respiratory system, your overall cellular health, your thyroid, your adrenal glands, and mental clarity. I mean, my grandparents, certainly not my great, great grandparents ever suffered with Alzheimer's or ever suffered with memory loss. My grandparents were sharp, sharp. My great grandparents, so sharp. Indoor air quality can be five to seven times more toxic than the outdoor air. 
because of conventional cleaners. I want you to think about that. Where your child goes to school if you don't homeschool them, the air that they're breathing is five to seven times more toxic. And if you live in Los Angeles, this should resonate with you, than that air that's outside. I grew up in Los Angeles and the smog is ridiculous. The thing is, is that children born to women who held cleaning jobs, this is just a study done by PubMed, children born to women who held cleaning jobs while pregnant had an elevated risk of birth defects, according to a study done in 2010. That was 10 years ago. That's incredible. Studies show that there are over 300 chemicals found in blood, urine, and breast milk, as well as the umbilical cord of newborns because the toxins that we put on our bodies as pregnant women goes into the, the baby. Everything we eat or put on us goes in there. Regular use of cleaning sprays can have as much impact as on someone's health as smoking a pack of cigarettes a day. Wow, that's crazy. And so I love that Young Living made it super simple to be able to say, okay, I'm gonna just one and done it. It costs less to completely wipe out all the toxins in your home than it does for one trip to Target. An average trip to Target costs, and the average American, the average trip an average American takes to Target costs them $300. Did you know that? Think about it. How many times have you gone to Target for, let's say, laundry soap, toilet paper, paper towels? And it's like, oh, oh yeah, I'll try this or that or this or that or this or that. And it's not even anything necessarily that the house needs. It's just this, that, the other thing. That's why I love online shopping. Amazon is the best. I Amazon all of our toilet paper, all of our paper towels, because it's just easier. And that way I don't get, I don't do the impulse buy spending. And when I purchase my stuff from Young Living, I just click, click, click. Okay, we need thieves cleaner. We need laundry soap. It's very methodical and it's done. For a whole thieves starter kit to get your mouthwash, which I'll discuss in a minute. I have to show you something. Your mouthwash, your toothpaste, your hand soap, um, adding in laundry soap, cleaners, all of these things. You can get it for $200 and have enough of most of that for several months. I mean, it seems like a no brainer, don't you think? My last thing is, is the mouthwash. I love this. When I use the mouthwash, it makes my teeth feel like I've been to the dentist. I do use it every day, so, or every night, not every morning, but every night. Um, my friend Maribel showed me this amazing breath spray. Okay, I'm 46. So anybody who is a child of the eighties or nineties will totally feel me on this one. Well, not the nineties kids, but the eighties kids, you guys will. But do you remember Banaka spray, right? We'd go to the 7-Eleven and get Banaka and it was probably, I was literally probably spraying poison right in my mouth just so that my breath smelled amazing. And it tasted horrible, but we all did it like it was crack. Well, you can make your own with the thieves mouthwash. All you need is a small little bottle like this, two to four ounces one cap of your thieves mouthwash in here, 10 to 20 drops of peppermint, essential oil, vitality, please. And also young living, please. And thank you. Put it in, fill it up to here with water, give it a good shake. And then quick spritz. Mm. I love that. It's just a light bit of peppermint, a little bit of thieves flavor also. Your immune system this time of year with all that's going on, that's going to be the ticket. Thank you for joining me for this week's Lunch and Learn. I hope that it opened your eyes to the ability, the simplicity that it is of going toxin-free and creating a healthy living space and also the importance and the critical, the critical matter that it is in our world today. We'll see you next week, everybody. Thank you.